you have to also understand is caning really even working at this specific time it's not let's have conversation Hello. let him understand where doing this is wrong because sometimes we don't even we don't explain why doing something is wrong we just chop and leave it at that yeah. so to cultivate the friendship and still the discipline love has to be more the same hand that you used to love should not be the same one that you are chapaing them so next time probably you want to hug them yeah. and you are constantly chapaing with slapping them yes. like ai unakuja kunchapa not hugging mm. so oh, wow. separate wow. kama ni discipline ya kiboko is it a small muiko yes. is it a small uh, stick so separate so oh, that the wow. same hand that you keep on stretching to accept them and embrace them mm. they wouldn't feel like i'm not so sure why you're stretching yes. your hand The title of this video is quite <laughs> interesting but it's something we must delve in especially as the church. What is this thing being a mother? Like seriously as a millennial mm. <laughs> Soila is here with us for another episode of this and we'd love to hear your opinions, your comments as well. I'm a millennial tata. I mean I have so many nieces and nephews that I also parent as well as my friends children and and it's a whole new world. My name is Carrie Kagiri and Maria K. And joining us, Soila Kati. Soila Kati is your millennial mom. Mada. <laughs> Mada. Okay. Can you compare anything between your upbringing and what you're seeing with your children? Especially my, your son. Myself as a as a children. As a children. Yes. He looks too juicy. Yes, my son has a lot of oh, my 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 tabias. Uh -huh. <laughs> like mchokozi but uh -huh. uh -huh. i've seen it play it out, playing it out literally with his sister because that's so hard like you are so me because people <laughs> say that they're like may god give you children like, like, you. like yeah. you may god just bless you with a child exactly like you. i've actually seen it with my children yes and, and and behavioral yes but what are some of the needs that he has that mm. in your day were different different man I would it be different probably it's how it was supplied right because I think again as a boy I've seen he's a bit emotionally needy okay mm. particularly mom mm -hmm. emotionally needy mm -hmm. and then for me I'm a woman so my emotional need because my mother was constantly there mm -hmm. uh, I think I wanted my dad's approval so much Aww. so everything that I did was to please my dad and you did mention in the other I video, did yes like, I want to be yes, proud of me I really wanted my dad to be proud of me right. as a second born right. because my sister set such high standards for right. us yeah. you know like yeah. she's a standard yeah. we're second born be like your sister so I was literally like okay for me to be loved by my dad probably I have to be performing a certain way yes. you know I have to be behave in a certain way I shouldn't be distracted by certain things and honestly speaking I have seen the same thing with my daughter and the dad. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Like her when Daddy. I sit on yes, when I sit on a specific chair so like no that's dad's chair mommy. Get on like it's a couch <gasps> in our house. Wow. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Let me tell you Curtis would remove his glasses, put them up or candle. I mean it's really intentionally. My daughter would come and say, "Daddy, where are your glasses? Where are your glasses? Here are your glasses." Oh. He's just put his phone there. She will come and say, "Daddy, here is your phone." And I'm like, "Madam, he's your father." <laughs> He you do <laughs> like wow. she has given herself yeah. wow. to serve her dad and then her dad will sometimes be like I at least I have somebody who fights for my rights yes. in this house. <laughs> wow. You know. Yeah. I didn't until I see her that I understand the place of her daughter and her father. Mm. Like she constantly wants so to that, please her father. There are things that remain constant. I think so. As Marie is asking you the next question. Yeah. Um I'm, I'm thinking what 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 are all the fears you have as a mom? fears. Who mm -hmm. <gasps> I First of all that I don't do a good job. W what does that mean? I can miss out on yeah. stewarding them as God has in had oh, intended for on. me to do it. So you good. know. So good. Yeah, cuz I figured Mahali and I'm like Jehovah I have no clue what mothering this individual and then it's different for the girl and for the boy different personalities different needs. Yes, I will love them yeah. but the way I'm loving this one is not as This one I'm pouring emotionally much more. This one I'm pouring um in a certain way let's say affirmation yada yeah. yada. It's different. So the love is there. But how it's expressed is different based on the needs that they have. So for me I'm like Jehovah, I am just one mom mm -hmm. <laughs> with these children. I need grace. Mm -hmm. Tell me what to do. Sometimes you have no idea what to do. So I'm like because this are you, I'm just a steward, a custodian. 
they belong to you. I need to know what you have in store for them to steward the destiny that they are in this Amen. that is in these children. Amen. Otherwise, the place of owning, 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 I would want them to have the I would I would always identify where I failed and press much more on that area that they behave better, mm. which is quite unfair. Mm. You know, I just mm. want to show them love. Uh, have the road there and the road here is not to chapa really mm. but the road is to get to guide and direct mm. where they, they should be going train up oh sometimes yes yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, can, <laughs> they can they can push you to the walls and like hey and there's certain things you see once and like i do not want to see this repeating again yes. so you're like ah, ah we have to chapa they know Ata mgini ya ki kose wa nsamanga, mami try bring chapa boko, we call it chapa boko. You are so, Remani did this to me, Remani is my son, the daughter is coming, the sister is coming to tell on him. You need to chapa him. Mm. Oh, she knows. <laughs> oh, she knows. Because I know some bad manners is for chapa. So yeah. they know chapa boko. Yeah. So for us. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though. So yeah, some things, yeah, some things you just pick them out. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think for me, uh, the question I wanted to ask about this film, because I, I, well, I have three brothers mm. who are older than myself, and I'm the girl. Yeah. And so, Kitambo, my dad, I'm going to go to the house. i So, I saw my brother doing that the other day in Kambia. To his child. Yes. Kambia, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the But they have disciplined you well. that. Yeah. But how do you get to spend and, and, and to, do, to spend time with your children and have that relationship that this is my mother, other than being my mother, she's my friend. Right. Mm. Very intentional. I think when you're saying millennial moms and how we are in the information age, like we've seen other people's children's behaving in a certain way, like I don't want that to be my child. And then again, oh, there's yeah. a place of, you know, gentle parenting that is being taught. No, you are evil for beating children. Mm. Like there's just so much info back then. Everybody was on the same it's table. Tuna chapa, tuna yes. chapa. Yes. Na niki kuchapa utaenda kwa auntie na auntie atakuchapa. You yes. know, like yes. it was standard all across. Yeah. Sa hii pola parenting differently. Mm. You're like, eh, it's only I who will steward these children in a specific way. So that's why I keep on selling. Like, even as a mom and as a friend, we have learned to, let's say if we've corrected you in a certain way, and there's a little bit of pain inflicted, we'll have to tell you why. Do you know why you got chapa oh, boko? Wow. You know? Do you know why you chapa boko? Chapa boko? Yeah, yeah. What did you do? I hit my sister. Do you wish, or do you wish that happened for you? Oh, yeah. Okay. You see, as was like, you will know when you're being beaten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nearly yeah. so much. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap for yeah. as long as. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of a sudden, mama is not talking to you. My mother was like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm going to share your size. Mm. So, I'm going to share your size. So, I'm going to share your size. And I say, I'll beat you with this one. And yeah. I will go and get myself. Yeah. Yeah. You go bring a big one. You, say, you want me to beat you with this one? You know, this is good. So, it's I'm going to big. get, yes. Oh, so, <laughs> it was such a torture. <laughs> process but having being present so you just don't discipline them when they are doing wrong mm -hmm. be present and also being good children okay. you know so, so such as that they don't just relate to you like mommy is always present when Anna to chapa. Right. But when things are okay, we don't see mommy, we don't see daddy. Right. Like you have to cultivate the aspect of friendship all across. So you see them misbehaving and still, yes, discipline whatever form that you have, even if it's time out, even if it's having a conversation, mm -hmm. even if it's talking to them because it gets to a place whereby I'll repeat it on chapa, I'll repeat again. Mm. So you have to also understand is caning really even working at this specific time? It's not. Let's have conversation. Let him understand where doing this is wrong. Because sometimes we don't even we don't explain why doing something is wrong. We just chop and leave it at that. Yeah. So to cultivate the friendship and still the discipline, love has to be more. Yeah. And I think the other thing that I once learned somewhere is like the same hand that you used to love it's should not be the same one that you are chapaing them. So next time, probably you want to hug them. Yeah. And you're and constantly chapaing with slapping yes. them. So like, ay, unakuja kun chapa, not hugging. Mm. So wow. separate. Wow. Come on, discipline ya kiboko. Is it like a small muiko? Yes. Is it like a small uh, stick? So separate. So oh, that the wow. same hand that you keep on stretching to accept them and embrace them, mm. they wouldn't feel like, I'm not so sure why you're stretching yes. your hand. Yeah. Is it to beat me or to yeah. embrace oh, me? Wow. So Ay, it has deep. to be. Mm, so it has to be. Constantly, as a mother, you have to be there to love them. Okay. In okay. good 
and, and in, in bad. bad yeah. But when they do wrong, you will discipline them. And because you have shown up in forms, in ways of love that they need, yeah. when you discipline them, they will know it's not, you're not, you don't hate me, mm. or you're not withholding love. Mm. You know, it's like, yeah. I have actually done wrong. Mommy loves yeah. me so much. By the time I am in because she hates me, yeah. it's because she honestly still do loves yeah. me and she wants me to behave better. Yeah. And we've done that. We've actually hugged out. After we chapana kwa kwanyi was like, okay, come. Do you understand why we did that? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. not good to do that to your sister. Yeah. It's not good to do that to your brother. You know, yeah. she felt like this. You yes. did see how she cried. Yes. Yeah. You're supposed to watch over your sister. Yeah. You're supposed to watch over your brother. Yeah. So I still explain it. And they continuously What's learn. Edgar? A year and a few months. Oh wow, that's a. Only for twenty. I'm just going to say twenty twenty. Mungi ne twenty twenty one. Yeah, the stairs. I know exactly. Let's talk about and, and, and you don't have to go into details. But yeah. let's talk about between twenty sixteen to twenty twenty. Yeah. What was that like? Was there any pressure around? Getting children? Yeah. Yes, I think for me, let me talk about 20, 2016. I wasn't a new bride who wants to get a child. Mm. Nobody. There were nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, no. Yeah, no. I want to ha to get to know my husband right. and all that. And then around 2018, when I think we got, we conceived the first time and then I lost the child, oh, wow. I was like, okay, sawa sawa. Now, the devil, you have no plan. Yeah. I'm going to try again. Yeah. And then we did that four times and lost children, like, uh, pregnancy four times. So I had, like, four miscarriages. I was like, you know what? What's happening? Mm. And then now... We just talk about... The, the, <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, no, like, wait. Maybe I missed it in your blogs. I thought about... I think you did. Noah, but wow. So now. Yeah, so losing children continuously... It gave me more desire to have them because okay. I'm like, why is the enemy fighting this so much? Come on. You know, I need Come to on. understand this because now it looks like we are now in the battlefield and our prayers need to change. Mm. You know, you'd easily think you will get married and then all of a sudden you have children mm. until you start trying. You're like, okay, it's, it's an uphill mm. climb. It was tough. I think I can say 2018 was one of the toughest season, let's say, for my marriage. And then now 2019 get the pregnancy, get pregnant, and then get to give, no, I think 2018, 2019, yes. Mm. And then get to give birth the day COVID was announced in Kenya, you know. And then I remember... Um, you in lockdown in hospital? No. But then I give, it was 13th of March, I remember. That's yes. the date happened in Kenya. But lockdown hadn't happened. Yes. Lockdown happened after I went now home. Because yes. my plan was to go to my mother-in-law. And then after, let's say, a week, I go to my mom's yes. house. Because me, I was like, I'm not going to be with a newborn in my own house. Yes. I was not. I just mm. want help. Scared, yeah, yeah, I just want help. For sure. And um, that happened. At least my husband was there at home. We were really tag teaming so well. At night, we'll bottle fill the baby so that I can get to rest. In the morning, you'll pick the baby up. And then I sleep a bit and then take the baby during the day and probably the early hours of the evening. It went so well. And then we moved back home. COVID Kaisha, Kila Mutu, Akarudi Makwao to your houses. But still, there's lockdown. They're still not right. moving from county right. to county. Right. And then six months into it, I fall down and break my arm. I'm still breastfeeding. Yes, I'm still breastfeeding my child. Oh my God. Now I have to go in for surgery. So this is me two days in the hospital. I have a, a six month old is still breastfeeding. Yeah. So the dad has to pick up the mommy and the daddy role. The milk. I know, the milk. Exactly. It was oh. the one I was like, okay, you know what? And then I think having gone to surgery and the dawas that you take, now I could not breastfeed. You had to win by Yes, force. yes. I could not breastfeed. So it was on formula, like full force now. And the dad was a parent here. Now the dad was parenting a, a six month old and still Taking parenting me. Because yeah. they have to, you have to bath me. You have to, literally I had the cast because you yeah, can I tell. Remember, mm. yeah. So it was a process of, yes, from having, losing, to not having a child to this big challenge that you're facing. And I'm like, Honestly speaking, these tough times yeah. have really solidified our friendship between myself and my husband. I love it. And that's why I can say literally he's my friend because yeah. those times do not define us in a way that we became enemies but brought us so close together that we need to be one front to address all these pressures that are coming from different sides. Mm. And I've seen how much it showed up for me and I'm like, hey, you're actually still the same person that I met when you were dating oh, because you're still constantly showing up. Mm. That thing you were saying that you still have to observe the characteristic of this person and how it plays out in, in your relationship. Seasons. Yes, in different seasons. I'm like, you literally have been constant mm. in service. In serving the family mm. and also serving me as a wife. Someone put some love at there for Curtis. <laughs> all the love hearts that I are know, going on this video, all the like, yeah. if you like, share this video, it is for this man we're talking about. Yeah, mm. like sometimes, I know we, there's moments of disagreement, mm. but I sit down and remember of how much of a friend he is. 
and how much he sacrifices. I'm like, yeah. ah, he's Uda still my friend. Yeah. 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 man, where and else can I go I to? But yeah, so marriage and the seasons have really changed. Yeah. Uh, and then now, second born immediately before somebody's dream, he was one and something. We now have this other child coming on board. You know, now we have two under twos in the house. Mm. How are we playing this? Somebody has to go back to work. You know, what family dynamics do you want? Or culture do we want? Do, will you stay at home as a mom? Mm-hmm. And then I'll go, you know, so that we raise our children in a specific way. Yeah. Like there's so many so things. Did okay, you okay, you okay, I bet to describe to to I love it. I love it. You love it. I love it. I actually enjoy it despite the challenges yeah. and the pressures and the being pulled to mm. different directions. Yeah. Mm. Because I'm doing it with my friend Curtis. I love it. It has been bearable. It has been wonderful. I'm also doing it with God. I has love been. It. And that's the one Get thing I was telling you. Friend. Yes. That, <laughs> that these things have made me yeah. pray to God more yeah. that I may be available for this assignments that is given to I me yeah. as a mom yeah. and as a wife mm. uh-huh. like so good. not just to empty him because i've seen he can be a sacrificial person i don't want to empty him completely okay. equip me to also pour into him wow. yes lord wow. equip me to wow. pour into wow. him. Wow. as you do that maria i want to come to you and just what are some of the things that you celebrate about your mom um we are getting into mother's day, day. <laughs> um and, wow. and 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 maria probably mm. just I'll give you three of them. Mm-hmm. Three things that you really celebrate about your mom. Can I say with a story? Go for All it. Right. So when I was growing up, of course, I've told you guys I don't have a sister. Uh, so you're the only sister. I'm the only babe. Oh, you're the only girl. <laughs> I'm the only girl. <laughs> so again, my mom was working in a hotel industry. So kunaizo shifts. Silikuwa sijuna fanya sangapi, sangapi. So we have a 10 years gap with my brother. The, my eldest brother. So he was like the parent. He was the mother and the father and everything. And my brother could come when you unaenda kuosha alikuwa anatosha me and my brother we are very close they, there's another one between us so yeah ako one year one and a half years actually like you actually mm-hmm. one year yeah. exactly one year and so tukiosha tulikuwa tunashwa pamoja so my brother used to do unajua ni time ya bafu like ako anafanya kitu you know ni time ya kuoga so mnaenda mnashwa nyinyi what so when i was in class 5 class 6 that's when i i started my menses yeah but, but before I said my menses, I had some in my private parts. I had some too small to pimple, da 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 da. And then I could have some pass. I didn't understand what mm. it was all about. But I used to put my legs apart and walk like I'm having something. Oh, yeah. So one cool. time my mom comes home early uh, from work at 3 o'clock. Just to just make cash. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Like just something. <laughs> something, yeah. something. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. And then she sees how I'm walking. She just observes and realizes. Mm, What's happening? What is wrong with you? But I couldn't because we had not developed that relationship. She was my mother. She was not my friend. And I couldn't go to my brother because he's a man. I can't tell him, look at my, you know. Yeah. So my mom took me to the bedroom very quickly. And so she thought, you know, Kitambo could have rape cases. Ni, 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 ni. Yeah. So oh, she, she thought, you have, have someone slept with you? Mm. She was there, she's scared. I remember that incident up to date. And I get so emotional because she was so concerned at the time. And that's when my, mama, my mother decided to become very intentional in my mm. life. Come to school, I'll come to my brother and end the school. Kuna parents meeting. Sujui ni 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 My dad again alikuwa na fanya kazi Nairobi, so I mean that distance nakuru. So actually, mother kang akani angali akona e ni kungori. You know my mother carried me at her back. Tukenda hadi hosi, you know. Tulenda hosi and then the doctor was there. And my aunt came and said, "Umekuwa pimtoto kwa kiwa hivi, you know." Yeah. And and my mom, my mom at that time, mm. it was so emotional. And from that day, that day I remember. Mm. So good. No, no. This is so good. Mother's love. This is beyond wow. Chacho's podcast. No, yeah. and so, so good. And so from then she became very intentional in my life. What what grades are you getting in school? Which okay, number? Who is your mm. teacher? <laughs> who is who you know, all that. She became so intentional in my life and up to date. If, let me tell you, if all the boyfriends in this world know, they know my mom. Yeah. And my mom knows them by name. <laughs> by what you did to you me. Are, you became <laughs> that my good friends like that. <laughs> yes. She, we became so tight. Mm. And we became so tight till date. The other thing when you're mentioning about even when you give birth to your children and wanted to go to your mother-in-law. What my mom does till date. And my, sister in, 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 my sister-in-laws can bear witness. Mm. Every time you give birth, how's Ali Kwenu? 
Unaenda huko. Toka kwenu kuja. Kuja for 6 months. 6 months. Mbako mtu sasa na introduce you to food. So that's when you get serviettes. That's when you that's when you serviettes pale hivyo. Tuletie serviettes pale. Hii itakuwa ile no. Yeah. That's when now you get out of our home. We'll take care of you, feed you, clothe you if you don't have clothes. She'll go to the hospital. She'll be with the doctors there. She'll do everything from end to end. And so for me, always one of the things that I desire is I also get to have a mother-in-law of the same caliber. Amen. That indeed, when I'm, I don't get a mother-in-law that looks like her. And my sisters have a relationship with my mother other than me because two of them stay in Akuru so they even they are, they are closer to my mother there wanaendaka kwa mama they mimi sina hiyo privilege ya kukwenda kwa mama they all the time and Mm, and I'm mm, grateful mm. that he is my mother. Mm. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, mm, Thank you. Mm. Hey, mother. Mama, mm. tap tap tap. I love Mami it. I love it. Yeah. Just tap yeah. tap tap. Mm. And and one of the things that I know is being a mother she's intentional with me even with the boys. One of the things that she says up to date is do not because kitambo watu wako gan akwa na bonds sijua ana argue about farm about land and all that but she she always tells us that i want you guys even when i leave to have that one accord mm. that your brother will not suffer or your sister will not suffer Indeed, yeah. and there you are and people are laughing at your sister and you have the money mm. so one of the things that i really celebrate about her is that she is my friend mm. and because she supports me she knows i'm, I'm tv for seven she knows i work at shipo she knows i have a podcast she knows she knows everything she knows I every detail she it. knows the friends that i she she knows Kerry by the fact that we work with Kerry yeah. here. Yeah. But she has not met so them but she wants to know who do you talk to? Who do you talk to? All that. That's so beautiful. It may not have been there then but now I am happy that we are really really tight Ooh. with her. And I celebrate her because she's she has prayed for me. She has been with me. Uh she has been my friend and I am happy. I love it. Yes. I think one thing wow. that was so good. One thing my mom always says is if I don't pray for my children no one else will. Yeah. <laughs> so for sure I know I'm always covered with my mom's prayers. I remember uh just before we got to shoot to shoot this I traveled I got lost somewhere in in Johannesburg which is the most we got lost in a in a in, 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 <laughs> in the most insecure country <laughs> in the world dubbed number one. and 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 I knew my mom was praying for me. Mm. And that kept me okay. Oh you dude like, I am like sure she I'm me. sure she is praying for yeah, me. Yeah. Nothing will happen to me. I was so safe and I got lost with one of my colleagues and he was just like, "Yeah, you go so calm, ni himba." And I'm like, "But I'm fine. God is with me. My mom is praying for me somewhere. Like whatever she is right now, she's this but like Lord protect my daughter." Mm. Like I know I know it that well. Yeah. Um, but one thing I'll say about my mom is I've enjoyed the stages where we've not been friends, where she's been the disciplinarian, where she's mm. been the mentor. Where she's been the friend like she's been all things in one mm. she's been the fighter yes. my mom will beat you to a pulp yeah. like don't mess with her kids <laughs> <laughs> like i'm just like and that who say ma kwa mama mia no okay no my okay my dad will kill you my yeah. mom will just beat you <laughs> 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 but it's such an interesting thing to think about a mother mm. <laughs> And it breaks my heart for anyone who's watching this and they don't have their mom. Mm. I had to say this about by the way. Yeah. We we celebrate your mom and 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 the moments that you had with her. Um I just have to say that all the time because I realize that moms it's a very sensitive issue. Very sensitive. But also the moms who've been the moms who went to buy milk and never came back. By the way they are there. You know we always think about dads only, but there mm. are moms who left their children yeah. and abandoned them. But I think about the safety that comes with having a mom. I think about the security that comes with having a mom. I think about traveling without my mom and I just feel sick. Cuz I was like, "Oh, we kula utakula unafanya." You know like there's all that. Yes. Mm. I think the one special thing I celebrate about my, about my mom as in my mom is just awesome. Like literally guys, I there's no other mom who I could have ever had in my mm. life. No yeah. one could understand me, love me, uh, promote my giftings. I remember my mom calling out my skills she said you are a performer you are a musician she took me to theater arts and film technology school wow. mm-hmm. and i was like part of the only like three of us were being paid for school fees by our parents the rest were saying why are you guys doing this course like go do a real course and so she's called out my giftings when no one else could see them mm-hmm. she was like you're not good at math you're not good at sciences but you're great at english you're the one who's been given an award to be the the music director i got when i was graduating in high school mm-hmm. i got the trophy and she keeps it cuz that's her trophy yeah. <laughs> i got the trophy for music outstanding music student of the year 
and that that's that's like the last thing i got from from my, my high school and and she says that's who you are and so she celebrates she that she never you. tried to be like oh you need to be a lawyer mm. she's never even bro- in fact i wanted to be a dentist and she's like no like no do Pursue what you know what how to do yes. and so she's my number one hype man but what mm. i celebrate most about my mom my mom is clean wow <laughs> like, <laughs> like when she does my laundry and like the times that she's done it or when i go to sleep over like it's just how everything smells so clean so clean <laughs> and just so nice <laughs> it's true and i know if her hands are always clean like yes. my mom is like, my mom is like a super host but when yeah. you come in she's like first of all let me show you where to wash your hands yeah. like <laughs> she's those people for this is where you wash your hands yeah. because i don't know where you've been yeah. uh, your and it's one of the qualities that I, i really like about her like i don't know randomly yeah. her, her stuff is organized like her onion she has a knife for onions the onion for the knife for onions does a cut fruit Wait, wait. She like magic. Like you just, I love it. Yes. I I absolutely love it because it makes sense and it's just so organized and you don't have to think about what goes where. Mm. Um chopping boards. The chopping board for nyama does not cut fruit. Yeah. Mm. Like mm. why do people do that? <laughs> Very so people. I just I love those super qualities about her. My mom mm. is also the last one. Oh gosh. Uh, last one last one um other than the seasons I've been with my mom my mom is super social and i saw it at my sister's wedding yeah the number of people who showed up who are my mom's guests you know so i remember mean, the family yeah i was like, like my friends w- friends wamekuwa hata wamewa as in my mom has more friends mama ngo kona watu akona watu to what and she's known how to keep these people mm. um she got her phd last year last year but what, 2022 mm. after starting her undergrad after we had all finished our undergrad what so mm. she's pursued her education to the highest level and she's still upskilling and learning things for her retirement and like i don't know like my mom is super woman guys if mm. i could just if okay if i get to half the woman she is i'm fine yeah. Yeah. that's where i'm at like just half i don't even want like the whole thing yeah half to like that yeah i love her the only thing she needs to work on since i have this opportunity <laughs> uh mom it's okay for dishes to sleep in the sink <laughs> they will no. not cry it's not okay they will not, not okay. die it's not okay <laughs> no 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 she thinks that they are going to die <laughs> yeah oh, there are right. enough dishes for us to use for a week <laughs> Carry like, your, mom, your mother's daughter. That's safe. <laughs> <laughs> that's safe in the sink. I know she's gonna. Okay, yeah, she's like, I'm gonna be in trouble for this. But so like, let's finish with you. Even as we celebrate you yeah, as, oh, a as a mom. mom. Thank you. I know the amazing things you've said. I think <sighs> the thing that for me you've said that has really stuck out. Even as I, I give back, I yield my mic to you. Is is being able to be present. Um, over and above, not only being the watchman for your children. For umeko se apa umeko se apa. But even to be there for good times. That's really beautiful. Yeah. Mm. W- what do you times. celebrate about your mom, your mommy law? What? Your mommy love. Um and yes, we celebrate you as a mom. Mm. <laughs> and my say hello. Yes, yes, hello. Uh ah yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, my mom I think there's many things to celebrate about my mother, but the one thing that I've seen it, you know when you go to chapel back then, what you just said, you would be like you're a bad mother why are you beating me. And then now you're like Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for disciplining me. Thank so you. So those are sometimes the thoughts I have when I'm like I have to discipline these two little humans right. mm. because they will thank me later. Yes. Yeah. Uh because I know others who've regret I'm like mommy I wish you aligned the way I have or dad I wish you uh did 1 to 3 when mm. I was going astray. Um but I think the sacrificial aspect of my mother she did not have the easiest of lives mm. but she protected us from a lot of things she played such a key role in in our lives and i think just because she had many daughters and the yeah. son yeah yeah <laughs> she was i don't remember my mother not being home i actually don't remember her not she sacrificed like her edu- her career pursuit mm-hmm. to actually be present for oh, us so good um she always ensured that the things that we need 
she was providing even in campus i remember because i was easier even if ladies tend to pursue the relationship with their dads mm. for me it was i'm like this is the easier access mm. so mom you go tell your husband mm. we want one two three mm. one she was that mediator mm. she sacrificed so okay. much for us as 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 her daughters and for me as like i don't know and she still does that up to now i love it i would my mother lives in narok mm. i would call her today about a need that i have aki she will leave narok now i'm not even like she doesn't have a car to drive here but she'll get on a public means to get here mm. and come and i'm like i don't understand the level of selflessness that you it. have mm. i'm like how do you do that even when she has no coin yeah. she will find it to come and rescue you yes has like what i don't know if i am like that as a mother mm. but as you said she has gone and done so much that i have to do so much to be at the level mm. that she has been mm. like i have seen even if we do not have so much in as far as uh, material acquisition but the love cup for sure yeah. full. is full I love it. is full and has fueled us and it's still making teaching us how mm. to be better moms to our own children mm. uh how she shows up for us when we became moms i i i don't know how she does it like for sure when they yeah. say moms are super moms i don't know mm. how she does it mm. and the best repay back that i can give my mother honestly is pray for her yes mm. she still lives long Amen. because i've seen in the same way she has loved us as her blood children yes. she has brought other ladies to our house Please and God. loved them wow and cared for them wow. and they have their parents somewhere else wow. but she still has mm. and i'm like what a heart wow. of gold what a mm. heart of gold what a heart of gold yeah. that you have like you i'm like ish compared to you i don't think i'm that selfless mm. but that's the one thing that i want to celebrate her um as a mother because that part of her has really taught me a lot because it's just like christ did like giving so much up for our sake mm. um my mother in law like i am so blessed to have a mother like her she is so concerning she is so present she is so available different personalities from my mom but literally even katie says i think you came and overtook me mm. <laughs> you know she uh, you have become her favorite now i'm long i love it i love it for you yeah you have become her favorite and i'm like yes like she co- she's so concerned about me mm. and how i'm growing and how i'm doing things even health wise because she's in the medical mm. uh, industry she's constantly checking up on us mm. and 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 also on me as, as as a mom i know even to do with the hospital things when i was pregnant and all that because of her expertise and everything finding a guy now it's her who found a guy now for me like wow, i understand I because wow. of your previous journey of having losing children yes. i have friends in the medical things i'm going to do the research yes. Yes. i want you to go see this Uh, this guy now yeah. he's a bit more informed as far as complicated yes. pregnancies and challenges i'm like wow things that i would never myself mm. have found it for mm. myself and she's so like hey she stepped in when i gave birth she took us in the only thing that i was worried about when after giving birth was sleep and breastfeeding my child mm. the rest of the things food i was being forced and i'm like i'm done 6 a.m. there's somebody at the dog giving me oats porridge. I'm like, "Mommy, I am so full. <laughs> It's 10. Why so Elisha needs to be eating." I'm yeah, like, "I don't want so food. Good. I just <laughs> ate." Like she poured so, so much good. and she still pours so much into me. Um so and good. I love it. And I know this is selfish, but I'm so glad I couldn't have a brother, I couldn't have a sister that I'm the only daughter in law oh. she never had. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For never so get it all the attention <laughs> 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 but yeah and probably so for me it's just for God to continuously equip me <laughs> to be the godly mother. Yeah. You know I we talk it. about godly woman, godly sister what? I want mm. to be the godly mother Amen. to my children. Amen. As well and poor and and give of myself. I love it. We have such a short time with them. As like it's just the other day now you are four. Imagine. Now this other one is two and I'm like man so uta kwa 30 like awe mother but no still call me. Me be sure. And I'm like this time that I have with I'm you. I'm gone. I will pour. I am really encouraged by how like she now started her undergrad after and now right. she's ni mko na phd no oh, I, don't even, i don't even have a master see like, i'm so embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> like see, I, i'm burying my head in shame yeah it's the same thing that also my mother like she just paused on her education yeah. never got her degree yeah. Yeah. now is when she's back to school i love it and i'm like mm. you are a grandmother i love it <laughs> I love it. This is self actualization. Yes, yes, I'm like, yeah. I, okay, yeah. I like it. Sacrificial and still very determined with life. I like love never it. 
giving living full full life every day and as you know, it comes guys are always complaining why do you women have so many occasions man even you guys understand yeah. so many too okay yeah. mm. so many too okay so i want to encourage you to drop a comment for your mom over here you can screenshot it and send it to her this is that platform that you can do this on i want you even though your mom is an angel mom i uh, just you know comment still and just say you know mm. what you really celebrated about her what she taught you the values um that she left you with and if you have a bad relationship with your mom mm. or really really can't handle this kind of content uh we pray that god will will in his own divine way because he heals he restores he revives um he is able more than able to mm. do it and so i want to say thank you so much for watching this video uh we want to say god bless you yeah happy mother's happy day happy mother's day but right before that right before that we have something special mm. for, for our, our mother for our guest <laughs> our guest is our mother hey. <laughs> yeah hey. yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. We have yeah, something special yeah, for yeah. our guest who's our mother over here. We want to celebrate you. <laughs> for our mom in the oh, building. Thank uh, uh, you. Ooh, this this so was good. so good. They're all for you. Thank you so much. Celebrate you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Zoila. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> to all mothers oh, wow. we celebrate yes. you yes. and yes. love you on your so behalf much. yeah <laughs> you're a selfless mother, mother yes. by the way amen it, it, when you're saying amen. how your mother is i thought we were talking about a choice by the akuna ga choice inakuwa watu inakuwa watu wanakuwa watu 39 kwa nyumba na wote wanakula sababu god bless you thank you for watching this video bye, bye. bye.